Welcome to Global Defense News and Analysis. Lockheed Martin has recently showcased an advanced mobile launcher concept during the U.S. Army's Human Machine Integration Summit 4 at Texas A&M University. This innovative launcher is designed for installation on the 10 10 Marine Corps LVSR truck, expanding tactical and strategic artillery capabilities with an increased payload capacity, capable of carrying up to 24 227 mm guided rockets, guided rockets, the system aims to support a range of munitions, including surface-to-air interceptors, ATAC-MS short-range ballistic missiles, and precision strike missiles, PRSM. If implemented, this mobile platform could enhance both offensive and defensive operations, providing a versatile logistics solution for military missions. The prototype exhibited is mounted on a Marine Corps MKR-18 LVSR truck, which shares structural similarities with the Army's M1075 Palletized Load System, PLS. Both vehicles are manufactured by Oshkosh Defense, emphasizing continuity in military transport solutions. This new development suggests a potential connection to the previously explored Palletized Field Artillery Launcher, PFEL, program, which aimed to integrate artillery capabilities into existing logistical vehicles. The mobile launcher's design significantly increases capacity, offering up to four times the payload of the current HIMARS system. Initial configurations could allow for six GMLRS rockets, two PRSMs, or one ATAC-MS per module, with future plans potentially extending to PAR-SM variants with ranges up to 1,000 kilometers, including anti-ship targeting options. The U.S. Army Futures Command, AFC, continues to drive modernization efforts that align with the capabilities of this new launcher. Notable projects include the Extended Range Cannon Artillery, ERK program, which aims to extend artillery reach from the existing 30 kilometers to over 70 kilometers, significantly boosting firepower. Additionally, the PRSM, operational since 2023, doubles the missile capacity per launcher and is designed to replace the attack MS system. Future adaptations of the PRSM could enable it to engage moving targets, further enhancing battlefield precision. AFC's other major initiatives include the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon, LRHW program, which seeks to develop ground-launched hypersonic missile systems for long-range, high-value target engagement. Another noteworthy project is the Autonomous Multi-Domain Launcher, AML, an unmanned variant of HIMARS that enhances operational flexibility and reduces personnel risk in artillery deployments. The design of Lockheed Martin's launcher also suggests dual capability for both artillery and air defense roles. The system could be configured to deploy a range of interceptors, including PAC-3 family missiles, AIM-9X, and Tamir interceptors used in Iron Dome systems. The LVSR platform has previously demonstrated its capacity to handle large payloads, such as in DARPA's OpFire's hypersonic missile project. If integrated successfully, the launcher would work in tandem with the Army's Integrated Battle Command System, IBCS, which coordinates radar and sensor networks to create a comprehensive defensive perimeter against airborne and missile threats. However, this increased capacity may come at the cost of reduced mobility compared to the C-130 transportable HIMARS system. The U.S. Army's modernization efforts are focused on enhancing the capabilities of its MLRS systems by increasing their range, precision, and versatility. The IRCA project aims to push artillery ranges beyond 70 kilometers, while the PAR-SM offers improved accuracy and the potential for new mission capabilities. The LRHW and AML programs demonstrate the military's commitment to integrating advanced technology into artillery systems, ensuring enhanced operational reach and protection. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Share this with others, and thank you for listening to Global Defense News and Analysis. Let me know if there are any more edits or additional details needed.